that one looks good. Let's check it out. The yellow start button will play this question. See? Everyone's impressed by the professor. We're already more than halfway through this level. Click on the yellow start button to hear this question. There's only one more question left for this level. Click on the yellow start button if you want to hear this question. The glowing buttons are questions we haven't answered yet. No reason to select a mission. We're already on one. Click on the inventory button to put away the transquizzer. We're already on a mission. Let's complete this one before moving on. Pick out a new question so we can tackle another rescue mission. You can put away the transquizzer by clicking on the inventory button. Let's take a look at that transquizzer and select another mission. Go ahead and put the transquizzer away by clicking on the inventory button. Ah, been there, done that. Pick a mission we haven't completed. Great choice. Let's see what Polly has planned for this mission. Come on. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see what's in store for us. We already have a robot to save. We need to complete the mission we're on before selecting another one. All right, it looks like the disc should be inserted in the slot near the top of the transquizzer. No time to pat ourselves on the back. Select another question so we can save another robot. We've already completed that mission. Select one of the glowing buttons to head out on a new one. Click on an empty frame to start something new. Or click on a picture you've already started to continue working on it. You're not getting cold feet on me, are you? Just move the quiz disc to the top slot on the transquizzer and click. The gallery's filled. If you want to start a new painting, you'll have to go back to something you've already started and erase the canvas. All right. We still got places to go and robots to rescue. Click on any of the buttons near the bottom of the transquizzer. Amelia Airbot disappeared. There's no mystery in that. Polly has reprogrammed her and sent her back in time to the invention of the helicopter. Hank can fix anything. Where would I be without my weekly tweaking? We've got to find those clues and get them back so we can fix Polly for good. That Polly. Ooh, if she gets her way, people will be diving off high diving boards wearing flippers, goggles, and air tanks. We can't let that happen. Oh, talk about an unhealthy glow. If people start thinking radium isn't dangerous, they'll start using it again. We can't let that happen. Holy handwriting. The history of writing will be turned upside down and backwards if Polly gets her way. We better write that wrong, uh, so to speak. Not Dr. Bugbot. If I get a computer virus, he's the only one who can get the bugs out of my program. Oh, we better get a move on quick. Think of each one of those glowing buttons as representing a poor, lost, and scared robot. We can't go back to an old mission when there's so much at stake. Polly can't be serious. Tiny creatures don't take baths. It's Polly who needs to clean up her act. What do you say we clean it up for her? Oh, great. No more saxophones if Polly gets her way. I love their mournful songs. Drums are nice, but we've got plenty of drums. That can't be right. You mean to tell me that we didn't know the Earth was round until we sent rocket ships into space? Oh, Polly's up to her old tricks. We better do something about it. Sockbot, the smelly robot? I can't believe they let him out of his shoe. I wouldn't subject people to his smell. We've got our work cut out for us. Hold your nose. I think Polly has an abscess in her wisdom tooth. Does she really think that vending machines came before coins? Oh, there's no telling what she's planning this time. Nature calls and Polly throws a hand grenade in response. I'm sure the first toilets weren't invented for a single use. What a waste. We can't stand for this. Imagine that. Sausages made from old socks. What'll Polly think of next? We can put a stop to this. We can sock it to Polly once and for all. History? Warped history, if you ask me. What is the inventor of the wheel going to do with a steering wheel? We have to steer history back on course, if you know what I mean. Not Bongo Bot, the six-armed robot drummer. When he gets wailing, there's no stopping him, just like there's no stopping Polly. Time to find those clues or we're beat. Cosmobot and I never used to get along, but now we're pals. I can't believe Polly reprogrammed him for her selfish purposes. We have to find those clues and get Cosmobot back. Poor chef boy robot. It's true. Too many chefs spoil the soup. Polly should never have gotten involved in the food business. I just hope we can find those four clues and rescue breakfast. Snowmen playing basketball? You can't bring snowmen inside. They'll melt all over the court. We better do something quick. The lives of millions of snowmen depend on us. A small price to pay. If you're not a cow, holy smokes, if Polly gets her way, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Point is, we got to get moving and do something about it. That's Polly's teacher, Ms. Winkle. At that school on the hill, everything's state-of-the-art. All the quizzes are personalized, programmed, and videotaped by the teacher. 
pretty cool, huh? Aw, Miss Battery Bot's one of my favorite robots. She's a triple-A battery with a glowing personality. It's up to us to save Miss Battery Bot and to keep radium from falling into the wrong hands. Spaghetti sauce? Preposterous. There must be some other reason why the person who invented the helicopter didn't build one. We better find out. Aviation history depends on us. Poor Roland Roadbot. We better put a roadblock in front of his mission. Let's get to work and find those four clues, or the inventor of the wheel's gonna be in a fender bender before the fender was even invented. Verna the Vendbot. She's our mobile vending machine. Of course, here on the mountain, the candy she stores is free. Polly must have programmed her to take coins. We gotta get her back here before snack time. Noshi Origami. He's here on an exchange program from Japan. He can fold paper into all sorts of cool shapes. Now Polly's gone and shaped him to her evil purposes. We better find those clues. Okay, what we should do first is select one of the quiz questions. Just click on any one of the five buttons near the bottom of the transquizzer. Since we've got to bring all the robots back, the order doesn't really matter. So Polly's reprogrammed Boosterbot. He knows everything there is to know about rocketry. I say we let the air out of Polly's tires, so to speak, and rescue Boosterbot and the world's first bike rider. Oh no! Polly's program Flip to do backflips for her. We have to find those four clues before Flip belly flops. We must succeed, or history will do a cosmic somersault. Bubblebot's an extremely elaborate robot that the professor designed to walk and chew gum at the same time. That may not sound like much, but it took a long time to perfect. We've got to get him back before the professor blows a gasket. Rhonda Robot. She's won the Miss Silicon Chip Contest three years running. Now that's talent. We better work extra hard to rescue Rhonda from Polly's wicked ways and save the Olympics while we're at it. Please. You mean to tell me that televisions were invented before tools? How did people build TVs in the first place? With their teeth? We've got to get to the invention of tools before Polly goes too far. Polly thinks you help sick people by giving them dessert. What a disaster. People will be trying to get sick just so they could go to the hospital and get ice cream and cake. What about people who really are sick? We gotta stop her. The professor programmed Robbie Robot to play practical jokes. That's why he carries around a water pistol. Polly has obviously reprogrammed him for more elaborate pranks. We better find those clues. No time to waste. Oh, no. Polly's rigged the world's first bicycle with jet engines. That means everyone who rides one shoots off into the sky never to be heard from again. We must do something to save the world's first bike riders and the poor people in their paths. Give me a break. How could you deliver the mail with a boomerang? My guess is that the boomerang was invented way before the postal system. We better do something about this historical blunder. We don't want the postal workers to get mad at us. Heavens, Polly is just too much to bear. She used to think she was the center of the universe. Now she really is. We need to go back in time and straighten this mess out, or life as we know it will change drastically. Danny DeFrostbot. He was always a bit hot under the collar, but I can't believe he's willing to melt the world's snowmen. Polly's reprogrammed him, I'm sure of it. Let's find those clues. We have to get Danny back. Oh, no. Polly's gone too far this time. If she gets her way, the strong and brave ancient Olympians will be treated like beauty queens. You can't run a marathon in high heels. Well, not very well, at least. Robbie Robot doesn't smoke. The professor programmed him to carry a water pistol around for the sole purpose of putting out people's cigars and cigarettes. Polly has obviously reprogrammed him. We better find those clues. No time to waste. But Rosebot's the robot fireman who's going to deal with short circuits. Oh, I'm feeling hot under the collar already. We simply must find those clues. Finding Rosebot means saving the world's cows. Vasco the Robot is one of my closest friends. Well, actually, we're only pen pals. He travels so much you can only talk to him by email. Now Polly's got him traveling through time. We better rescue him quick. Oh, great. That's all the world needs. Everybody's mouth glued shut except for Polly's. If it were the other way around, I'd be tempted to leave her be. But as it is, eardrums around the globe are depending on us. Who's going to deliver the mail now that Polly's reprogrammed Oswald the robotic mailman? It's time to return Oswald to sender. Let's find those clues and do like a boomerang. We'll throw ourselves into history and then we'll come back again. Holy smoke. Talk about practical jokes. We can't let Polly get away with this one. Everyone knows that smoking's bad for your health. But smoking dynamite? 
That would be really, really bad for your health. Poor Slide. He's a robot that was made out of lead. Lead's a heavy metal, but that doesn't make Slide a heavy metal robot. Sounds like Polly's programmed him into a rock star. History itself will rock and roll if we don't find those clues. Oh, great. If Polly gets her way, the poor person who first invented a way to record sound is going to wind up with quite a shock to his system. I bet he throws his invention in the garbage. It'll be the world's first broken record. Now Polly's meddling in the history of art. Can you imagine the surprise on the face of the world's first painter when he or she stares back at a sad clown on velvet? I'd be surprised if they ever paint again. Imagine the world without paintings. Gross! Look what Polly's cooked up now. If we don't do something fast, kids all over the world will be pouring milk over bowls filled with cold fish and worms. No one will eat breakfast anymore, and breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Poor eraser bot, the automatic robotic pencil eraser. What if he gets rubbed out during Polly's quest to erase history? Who'll be there to correct the professor's mistakes? The writing's on the wall, and it's clear that we need to find those clues. Disgusting. Polly thinks paper was invented for spitballs and paper airplanes and dolls. Huh, that's wishful thinking on her part. She bothers everyone in her class with spitballs, and she wonders why she has no friends. Let's fix this one real quick. A sad clown. The very first time a human being decides to paint is a crucial moment in history. Polly could change art history and raise sad clown paintings to the level of high art. They. They fill our museums. We gotta stop her, Brunella the bombshell. But but she's my girlfriend. Well, not really my girlfriend. Well, not even really my friend to tell you the truth. Well, she doesn't even know I exist. Okay, but she will now. Let's find those clues and save my Brunella. Polly's all washed up this time. If she thinks she can get Slobot anywhere near a bathtub, ha! <laughs> she's got another thing coming. He loves dirt so much he married Professor Sparks' vacuum cleaner. But just in case she's reprogrammed him, let's find the clues. A girl cartwheels. A bird flying underwater. A jar of brains. If you want any extra invention points, you gotta paint me a picture. Miss Winkle, as everybody knows, I am the center of the universe. That's right. It's time once again to paint Polly a picture. Time to paint me a picture, Rockley. If you want that mission clue, they wrote on what everybody writes on, Miss Winkle. Word processors, of course. The first record had the coolest heavy metal guitar riff I've ever heard. That baby was singing. The first tools were hammers, screwdrivers, and wrenches. After all, people needed something to fix their televisions with. Since I mentioned a cow skull on the roof, it seems logical that you would at least try to have a cow skull somewhere in your painting. What makes anything light up, Miss Winkle? Batteries, of course. Radium comes complete with double A batteries. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. The first painting probably wasn't very sophisticated. I bet it was one of those sad clowns on black velvet. I love those paintings. They make me want to cry. Oh, coins were necessary, you see, because people wanted to get candy bars out of candy machines, and everyone knows that you need coins for that. And the early machines didn't take bills. I'd love it if the whole world popped super glue into their mouths and started to chew. I'd be the only one left who could talk. Everyone would have to listen to me. Obviously, Miss Winkle, to drive around, you first need something to steer with. Ipso facto, therefore ergo, the steering wheel had to come first. True, Miss Winkle. A prize that would make anyone run faster and jump higher. A bouquet of flowers and a diamond tiara. Here I am, Miss Olympic Games. How else could you prove the Earth was round except by taking a giant leap into space to see the whole planet and taking a picture from the moon? As everyone knows, you need a rocket for that. Who needs pedals when you've got jet engines on your bike? The jet engine bicycle was so totally cool that they invented pedal bikes on purpose because parents could never catch their children at dinner time. Well, Miss Winkle, early toilets had no place to send waste, so the inventor decided to just obliterate the whole mess. You pushed a button and it exploded. Clean, simple, and sanitary. Since the thing that never fails to make me feel better is cake and ice cream, I guess that's what nurses give their patients. Mmm, mmm, ice cream and cake. Medicine like that makes you feel better instantly. Amelia Airbot, the famous flying robot, has disappeared. Send out a search party, and while you're at it, search out these four clues: 
a bee, a pair of sneakers, a car, and a construction crane. Daddy's mother put everything she had into making her homemade sausages. They were so odiferous. Daddy used to say they tasted like her old socks. So I guess that's what sausages are made with. Old socks. This is an easy one, Miss Winkle. Basketball was invented in winter to give snowmen something to play. I mean, think about it. Whose life is more boring than a snowman's? All they do is stand around waiting to melt. To make things safe to eat, you often have to heat them. You wash your hands with hot water before eating, right? So, just before milking, the farmer heats the cows gently. That way, the milk that comes out of them is safe to drink. Since Robbie Robot, the practical joking robot, is dumb enough to squirt people with water, I figure he'd be dumb enough to do my dirty work. To find Robbie, you'll have to locate these four clues: a moon rock, an axe, an olive, and a medal. If you try to trace the invention of the bicycle back to its very beginnings, oh, you run into a bit of trouble. The ancient Egyptians built two-wheeled contraptions out of wood, but no one knows for sure if they used them as bikes. It's a sad fact of history, Miss Winkle. But the world's first mailman was a lazy fellow. He was sick of making his rounds, so he figured out a way to attach the letters to a boomerang. That way, he could deliver the mail without leaving his house. Well, Miss Winkle, everybody knows that high diving boards can be really, really high. At such high altitudes, there's not even enough oxygen for breathing. Scuba gear was invented so that people can breathe while swan diving off high diving boards. The tiny creatures thought they were invisible, so they'd take baths whenever they wanted, never guessing that someone might be looking at them. Well, the first person to look through a microscope caught a tiny creature in the bath, buck naked. Oh, Gutley, would you please stop your belly aching? If you're so worried, why don't you just go back in time and stop Miss Battery bot in her tracks? But you'll have to find these four clues first: an X-ray, toothpaste, a calculator, and a battery. Bathley, you're all wet. I sent Slobot, the dirty robot, to do my bidding, and boy, is he gonna make a splash! If you want to find him, you'll first have to locate these four clues: eyeglasses, a flea, a cork, and a telescope. Well, you see, Miss Winkle, it happened like this: the inventor of the helicopter was eating a delicious spaghetti dinner when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, someone came in and spilled sauce all over his designs. I think it was a rival inventor. Cool your pits, Hotly. Here's the situation. I've sent the robot doctor, Doctor Bugbot, back in time. If you want to find the good doctor, you'd better locate these four clues: a baby bottle, a lamp, a tablespoon, and a bar of soap. Oh, gee, Hotly, don't have a cow. Don't worry about those Guernseys. I've sent Rosebot back to teach farmers a thing or two about safe milk. These four clues could help you find him: an ice cube. A milk bottle, a menu, and a worm. What a spoil sport, Snootly! But if you want to try to ruin my fun, first you'll have to find four clues: a pigeon, a torch, two masks, and a piece of pottery. I sent Rhonda Robot back in time. She's the reigning robot beauty queen. Only I, Polly, could turn the invention of writing into the invention of wronging. I sent Eraserbot to rub history the wrong way. Find these four clues if you want to try to stop him. A book, a brick, a glass of water, and a rubber tire. The first cold cereal, Miss Winkle, was made with ice cream to keep it cold. For flavor, they added some cold water salmon. On top of that, they put the pièce de résistance, frozen worms. The worms gave the salmon something to eat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Not so fast, hose breath. I've got Sockbot on my side, and he's stepping out into history. If you want to follow his soft footsteps, you'll need to find these four clues first: a hot dog, a clock, a piece of coal, and a motorboat. Oh, Spitly, you ruin everything! But this time you won't succeed. I've got Noshi Origami, the robot who folds paper into shapes. To get Noshi, you'll first have to find these hidden clues: masking tape, a firecracker, a tea bag, and an abacus. You'll have to steer clear of me first. I've sent Roland Roadbot on a detour through history. If you want to find out when and where the wheel was invented, you'll have to find these four clues: a pencil, a plow, a garden hose, and sunglasses. Burpley, breakfast is overrated. I sent Chef Boy Robot back in time to put an end to breakfast. I'm sure nobody will miss it. Of course, you could find these four clues and stop me: a tooth, a chicken, an egg, and a Chinese walk.
Cut me a break, Roboticelli. Was I there? But thanks to Daddy's time machine, Piero Bot, the robot clown artist, soon will be. Unless, of course, you manage to find these four clues first. Stained glass, a diamond, a television, and a crayon. Relax, Scutley. It won't be so bad. I sent Russian robot Cosmobot to put me in the center of the universe. You can get him back if you find these four clues. A pig, a sundial, a postage stamp, and a dollar bill. But why mess up a good thing? I heard that, Snotly, and I'm not amused. If you want to save your precious eardrums, I'd suggest you look for Bubblebot. To find Bubblebot, you'll first need to locate these four clues. A microwave oven, a maple leaf, a pine tree, and a calendar. Talk about a broken record, Borley. So what if I send Slide, the heavy metal robot, back in time to pump up the volume? If you don't like it, all you have to do is find four measly clues. A broken pot, cotton candy, a red balloon, and a spider's web. Oh, Dropley, you're such a drip. You won't spoil my fun. I got Flip, the high-diving robot, doing my bidding. If you ever want to see Flip again, you'll have to find these four clues first. Water skis, a drinking straw, a camera, and an octopus. I'll tell you what I'm planning, Rotley. I've sent Verna, the Vendbot, back in time to the invention of coins. If you ever want to see Verna again, I'd suggest you find these four clues. A hammer, a scale, chopsticks, and a cash register. I bet the world's first paper was used to make paper airplanes. No, no, that's not it. Paper poly dolls. No, no, that's not it. Oh, I've got it. The world's first paper was used for making spitballs. Wait, it's all those things. That's it. The people who invented the first toilets didn't stand for it either. In any case, I sent Brunella, the robot bombshell, to take care of this one. She's not easy to miss, but these four clues sure are: a diaper, a snake. A seagull and a penny. Well, Boobly, I sent Hank, the robot repairman, to fix things once and for all. Try all you want, but there's nothing you can do. I've hidden the following four clues, and I bet you'll never find them: a fingerprint, a bus, an iron, and a penguin. Not so fast, Buster. I've sent Boosterbot, the rocket robot, to a place and time that's a secret known only by me. You can attempt to find out where that is, but first you'll have to find these four clues: a drum, blue jeans, a pretzel, and roller skates. Calm down, Shockley. So what if I sent Danny Defrostbot back in time? He'll heat things up a bit. Now, if you have a problem with that, you'll have to find these four clues: a handkerchief, a blue ox, a fish, and a whistle. Smoking. Oh, beat it, Motley! I'm sick of your whining. If you're so upset, try to find Bongobot, the robot I sent to take the wind out of the saxophone. To find Bongobot, first you'll have to find these four clues: a windmill, a birthday cake, a bone, and a seashell. A saxophone, eh? Well, it's electric, and you bang on it with sticks, and it's really, really big. Yes. That big electric drum-like thing that has always been one of my very favorite instruments. I adore Beethoven's Saxophone Symphony Number、no. Three. Don't you? Sure, explosives can be useful or deadly, but you forgot something else about explosives, Miss Winkle. Explosives can be fun. Take exploding cigars. They crack me up. I mean, they really crack me up. Dynamite was a great invention for practical jokers. Ooh, Spotly, I'm shaking in my boots. Truth is, I sent Vasco the robot back in time to help me pass my quiz. Find the following four objects, and maybe you can stop him in time: a donut, a concrete block, a bull, and a bottle of perfume. Boo Booly has found an error. Well, I've got Oswald, the robotic mailman, on my side. He's back in time, making sure I score a hundred on my quiz. You want Oswald to return? First, find these four clues: a slingshot, a bird's nest, a lock and key, and a surfboard. What makes radium glow? What did people first write on? What was the first wheel used for? What makes milk safe to drink? What was the first chewing gum made from? What was the first recorded sound? Why was scuba diving invented? What were mankind's first tools used for? 
Today we know that the Earth revolves around what? What did athletes at the ancient Olympics get for winning? What was seen through the lens of the world's first microscope? What was the outside of the world's first sausage made of? What was the world's first man-made paper used for? The world's first money were coins. Why were coins invented? Oh, Polly, you are right, and we teachers have been plagued ever since. Baseball was invented in the summer. Why do you think basketball was invented during the winter? The world's very first painting was done on a wall. What was the painting of? Yes, Polly, you're exactly right. The whole world revolves around you. Yes, Polly, this is true. The power of radium lies in double A batteries. There are countless musical instruments throughout the world. What kind of instrument is the saxophone? That's exactly right, Polly. There's nothing better when you're very sick than chocolate cake a la mode. Explosives can be deadly and they can be useful. Dynamite was first invented for what purpose? Yes, that's absolutely right, Polly. The winners at the first Olympics were treated like beauty queens. Oh, Polly, you are one smart cookie. People proved the Earth was round by taking a snapshot of it from the moon. The first toilets were invented long before Queen Elizabeth sat on her throne. How did the world's first toilets flush? Everyone knows that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. What was the first breakfast cereal made from? Well, Polly, you've done it again. That's exactly right. The world's first chewing gum was made with super glue. For centuries, people wondered what the shape of the Earth was. How did people prove once and for all that the Earth was round? Good morning, Polly. I hope you've studied for the quiz today. You may have a lot of natural ability, but even geniuses need to study. That's exactly right, Polly. And with all that heavy scuba gear on, high divers make quite a splash when they hit the water. The Egyptian bikes had no pedals, and neither did the first modern bikes. So, how were the first modern bicycles powered? That's right, Polly. The poor thing was ever so embarrassed, and the person looking at it was mighty embarrassed as well. I'm sorry, Polly. Sausage was being made for centuries before the invention of socks. Sausage is made from the intestines of animals. Oh, Polly, you are so right. It was a case of industrial sabotage. Spilled spaghetti sauce kept the first helicopter from being built. The people who made the first boomerang didn't know why it worked. They only knew that it worked. What was the first boomerang used for? Sailors once lived in great dread of accidentally sailing off the ends of the earth. They thought the earth was flat and that you could fall right off it. You're absolutely right, young lady. The world's first painting depicted a sad clown. It was considered quite avant-garde at the time. When you get sick, the role of a doctor is to figure out what's wrong with you and then prescribe the treatment necessary to get you better. What's the role of a nurse? A helicopter is an aircraft that's lifted into the sky by one or two powerful whirling rotors. Why didn't the person who first invented the helicopter build one? Horrifying but true, Polly. Obviously, there were no TV repairmen back then, so clever humans invented hammers and screwdrivers to fix televisions on their own. Now, today's quiz is all about inventions and discoveries. Something you should know plenty about, Polly. Oh, but no fair asking your father for help. <laughs> Why, you're right again, Polly. Archaeologists have dug up many ancient examples of the first word processors, some still attached to early dot matrix printers. Mmm, 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 that's the secret ingredient. Old socks have been used for centuries as the casing for sausages. Now you know where socks go when they disappear from the laundry. Oh, don't be silly, Polly. Snowmen can't play basketball. James Naismith invented the indoor sport basketball in winter because it was too cold to play outside. Oh, I should think not, Polly. Thomas Edison recorded the first sounds ever. It was, Mary had a little lamb, one of the sweetest lyrics ever penned. Yes, Polly, that's exactly right. The exploding cigar changed the face of practical jokes. And boy, <laughs> does dynamite change the face of the people who try to smoke it.
bologna, frankfurters, wieners, and salami. They're all types of sausage. Sausage is a mixture of flavorful meat that's wrapped in a casing and cooked. And that's no bologna. Very true, Polly. The steering wheel was the first wheel ever invented. It was only after the steering wheel was invented that people realized they needed something to steer. And the rest is history. <laughs> During the ancient Olympic Games, all wars would come to a stop, and a truce would be called for three months. That gave the soldiers enough time to travel to the games, compete, and then return home to continue fighting. <gasps> I can't imagine how you came up with that answer, Polly, but you're exactly right. The world's first toilets required very little maintenance. Once you used it, all you did was blow it up. Oh my! <laughs> What imaginative taste buds you have, Polly. But the truth is, the first cold cereal was made from toasted corn. Corn flakes took the world by storm, and is still one of the most popular cereals in the world. No, Polly, but what a sweet idea! Nurses are in charge of feeding, washing, and treating the patient. These days, nurses are so well trained in science. In many cases, they can diagnose illness just like doctors. A visually interesting response, Polly. But no, the first toilets didn't explode. They were built near the seashore on the island of Crete. When the tides came in, nature did the flushing automatically. Magicians used to be in charge of curing the sick. If you were sick, you had magic performed on you to make you healthy again. Today, if you get sick, you go to the doctor, not to the magician. Thank goodness, times have changed. That's exactly right, Polly. Of course, it's quite expensive to heat cows every morning, and if anything does go wrong in the process, well, it's not very pleasant for the poor cows. But it's a small price to pay for safe milk. No, Polly. People knew the Earth was round centuries before rockets were invented. People guessed it was round for many years before Magellan's ship sailed round the entire planet and proved it for sure once and for all. Today, when we drink milk, we usually drink cow's milk. But the world's first milk drinkers probably drank milk from goats. Goat's milk and even buffalo milk are still popular in countries all around the world. Some people claim that human beings are the only animals who use tools. Plenty of animals use tools. Horses have been known to pick up a stick to scratch their backs, and chimpanzees use sticks to fish for termites hidden deep inside logs. I sure do, Polly. Once again, you've pinned the tail on the donkey. The saxophone is an enormous electric drum set. Some of the world's most accomplished classical composers have paid homage to its electrifying beat. Polly, you silly Billy, why heat the whole cow when you can simply heat the milk? Louis Pasteur discovered a way to kill germs through pasteurization, and in the process made milk and other foods safe for human consumption. <laughs> Polly, that's a nice idea. Too bad it isn't true. Fact is, radium is a radioactive substance. The same thing that makes it glow makes people sick. Radium is no longer used for making glow-in-the-dark objects. That's right, Polly. The boomerang was invented by the world's first mailman. And you should have seen the muscles that developed in his throwing arm, especially during the holidays when he had all those extra packages. Oh my! Baseball games usually take two and a half hours, but only eight minutes of that time is action. That's a lot of waiting around. It's no wonder that basketball, not baseball, is watched by more people in America than any other sport. Well, Polly, you slam dunked that one. Basketball was indeed invented as a winter sport for snowmen, and believe you me, seven-foot snowmen are extremely grateful to have something to do besides stand around in the cold. The world's first vehicle was nothing but a plank of wood dragged behind an ox. The invention of the wheel changed history forever because it turned that sluggish sled into a swift cart. But the first wheel wasn't invented for moving people. It's a nice idea, Polly, to think of ancient people with computers. But the truth is even more amazing. The Sumerians were the first to develop writing. They carved the cuneiforms into wet clay tablets and waited for them to dry. Oh, don't get saucy with me, Polly. You know very well that the Italian artist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci came up with the idea of the helicopter in 1483. 
But that was centuries before anyone invented an engine powerful enough to fly one. People once thought the Earth was the center of the universe and everything revolved around it. That's because when they looked up in the sky, the sun and the stars all appeared to be moving around the Earth. A nice idea, but appearances can be deceiving. Polly, there were no televisions in prehistoric times. The simple tools that people first developed were used for eating. People didn't have the sharp teeth of other animals. Tools were needed for things like breaking shells open and cutting meat. One of the oldest and most peculiar inventions of all time is the boomerang. A boomerang is hardly more than a curved stick, but it puzzled scientists for many years. Nobody could explain why it returns to the person who throws it in the air. Pedaling has its pleasures, Polly, but you're right about the world's first bikes. They were propelled by jet engines. Unfortunately, no examples of these first bicycles survived. The bicycles and their riders all disappeared into the sky. The invention of writing was the stuff of legend for ancient people. The Chinese, for example, believed it was a gift to Emperor Yu from the magic tortoise he saved from drowning. Today's archaeologists tell a different story about the invention of writing. A sad clown. You deserve a pie in the face for that one. <laughs> no, no. The first scenes painted were hunting scenes. The paintings were very primitive, of course, because painting is a skill that took thousands of years to develop. Yet another creative guess from Polly. Wrong, but creative. <laughs> In any case, the world's first microscopes were used to look at creatures like fleas and bacteria. These were too small to study with the naked eye. Screeching more like it, Polly. But you're a hundred percent correct. The first recorded sound was of an electric guitar. I'll have you know, I'm pretty hip. <laughs> I love a shrieking tune and blasting amps as much as the next gal. There are twenty-five questions total, Polly. Five on each of the five discs I've passed out to you and the rest of the class. That's five different levels. So sit up straight, put on your thinking cap, and select your first question. No, Polly, but that's an interesting guess. The first bike was called a Draisine, after the inventor Baron von Drais. You propelled it by kicking your feet one after another. King George the Fourth of England loved riding one. An empty stomach doesn't make you hungry. We get hungry only when the brain's hunger center notices there's not enough food in our bloodstream. That's why you're supposed to eat your breakfast even if you don't feel hungry. You've got to get food into your bloodstream. No, Polly. The winners at the ancient Olympics weren't treated like beauty queens. The prize was a crown made out of laurel wreaths. When an athlete returned home, a life-size statue was erected in his honor, and he was treated to free meals for life. As everyone knows, you can't blow decent bubbles with regular chewing gum. That's because bubble gum has more of the stuff that makes chewing gum chewy. It stretches more than regular gum, and that lets you blow big bubbles. Oh, but don't you try it in my class? No, Polly, that's not right. The Polish astronomer Copernicus made an earth-shaking discovery in 1531. He discovered that the sun only seemed to be moving around the Earth. It was really the Earth that moved around the sun. No, Polly, the boomerang was invented ages before the postal system was set up. It was developed by Aborigines in Australia around 40,000 years ago as a tool for hunting. Other cultures invented boomerangs too, even the Hopi Indians of Arizona. Call it a chopper, an egg beater, or a whirly bird. Just don't call it late for dinner. <laughs> Seriously, this aircraft is a good example of an invention that came way before its time. The idea for the helicopter was thought up long before it was built. You got a flat tire on that question, Polly. Truth is, the first wheel was probably invented not for transportation, but for making pottery. The potter's wheel allowed the Sumerians to spin pots into perfectly round shapes. Wheeled carts soon followed. Years ago, a painter invented a glow-in-the-dark paint called Undark. Glow-in-the-dark objects soon became all the rage, but the craze ended when people started getting sick. Undark was made from radium, you see, and no one realized that radium was poisonous. Two thirds of the surface of the Earth we never see. It's covered by water. Drain the oceans, and you'd see mountain ranges, canyons, plains, even volcanoes. You can't drain the oceans, but you can become a scuba diver and find out what you're missing. It 
took humans most of their history to learn the simple art of making paper. It's so simple, in fact, that wasps were making paper millions of years before humans even appeared. Wasps create pulp from wood and use it to create paper nests. No, Polly, but I can see where you came up with that answer. <laughs> You're such a brilliant spitball shooter. The world's first paper was made in ancient China. It was used as packing material, clothing, and for personal hygiene long before people wrote on it. It's true. For thousands of years, vending machines stood around in fields and meadows untouched by human hands. No one knew how to get the candy out of them. Then coins were invented. They were the keys that unlocked those sweet treasure chests. Money's the most fascinating invention of all time. Before money, people used the barter system. If you wanted a loaf of bread, you had to give the bread maker something you made in exchange. But if he didn't want what you made, well, you didn't get your bread. The world's first dynamite factory was so dangerous that authorities moved it to a barge in the middle of a lake. Dynamite, you see, is made from nitroglycerin, a substance that's so explosive even a slight movement can make it go kablooey. The word microscope is from Greek. It means watcher of the small. A microscope is an instrument used to see things that are invisible to the naked eye. The invention of the microscope revealed a whole new world, a world beyond people's wildest imagination. Silly swan! Scuba was invented so that undersea explorers could swim freely underwater. Scuba stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Before scuba, air was pumped to the diver from a hose attached to the ship. That silly Polly! You can't chew glue. At least it's not a good idea. The first chewing gum was made from a resin found in the bark of a tree. It's strange but true. Ancient cultures such as the Mayans were chewing gum centuries and centuries ago. Oh, Polly! Of course that's not true. Vending machines were invented long after coins. In the barter system, if you didn't make anything the bread maker could use, you didn't get your bread. Since everyone could use coins, coins made buying and selling easier. Since the beginning of time, many painters have used walls as their canvas. In fact, two of the world's most famous painters got together to paint the walls of a splendid house in Italy. Too bad Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci couldn't get along. They never finished the project. No one knows what Abe Lincoln's voice sounded like. George Washington's voice will never be heard again, and the shot heard round the world, it echoes no more. There was nothing to record those sounds, and that's why history is silent. My question to you is this: How's this for a throne? The world's first flushing toilet was invented four hundred years ago for Queen Elizabeth the First of England. Elizabeth liked the invention, but not the inventor. They had a fight, and he was banished from the kingdom. Talk about a royal flush! In Greek myth, Pan invented the first musical instrument. One day, along the banks of a river, Pan sighed a long sigh. His breath produced a sad sound as it passed through the reeds that grew along the river. With the reeds, he made a shepherd's pipe. Oh, sorry, Polly, but you're marching to a different drummer. A saxophone is a single reed wind instrument, usually made from brass. The sax is most often associated with jazz music. It makes some of the saddest sounds in music, and some of the jazziest. Good work, my dear. Oh, I still love that first cold breakfast cereal, salmon and frozen worms. Some things you just never outgrow. I confess, though, that my very favorite cereal is frosted octopus oats with jellyfish bits. Mmm, makes me hungry just thinking about it. Oh, close, Polly, but no cigar. <laughs> Dynamite was invented by Alfred Nobel in 1866 as a safe explosive for tunneling and mining. Nobel was so angry when armies started using dynamite to wage war. He funded the Nobel Peace Prize to help end war once and for all.